Yagua is a story from Cuba that dates back to the 1940s. And today, I, your host, Joe Hosempa of Stogie Geeks, have the chance with Nelson to unveil the Yagua by J.C. Newman. I'm very excited for this. Nelson, welcome, welcome. Uh, this uh, here, um, you know, y Yagua is a technique. We're going to talk about it. And uh, I, uh, we had this box shipped to us here from our uh, partners over at J.C. Newman. And we are going to do an unveiling and tell a little bit about the stick and what um, it's going to be available in stores uh, next week. It's being shipped uh, to stores, only select retailers. Um, for you Stogie Geeks out there, if you go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Iagua logo, you sign up your email and find out where uh, it's, it's, it's being set across the country. Only a thousand boxes, right? Yes, only a thousand boxes. Um, uh, created by a uh, fourth generation owner of JC Newman, um, Drew Newman. Um, it, to me, it's his second concept cigar. Uh, there, he, he's coming up with these concepts. Uh, love the like the new generation coming in. You have you you have a company like JC Newman, oldest uh, cigar factory, right? Uh, here in the America, and um, you know just history, heritage. Uh, uh, located down in South Florida, um, you know, and and they tell their story, and yet again they have a release, and we have the chance to do that. But before we get to the release, uh, I I, th I think we should pour some drinks as we do. I think we here. should toast the un unboxing. Sure. So, uh, would you want the Cheers. Belvini Twelve or do you want your, your McAllen? Which? I'm going to go with the McAllen. Okay, I I'll, I'll go with you. Yeah, oh. let's just do that. Because oh. because what be what we're going to do here is we're going to um, open up the box. Uh, just so you know, w watching at home, we have never uh, uh, seen this before, so this is uh, new uh, here. And uh, fresh open box, still sealed, and we have a chance to uh, do that. So um, looking forward to... Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> looking forward to the cut and light, uh, the, the, the uh, initial notes that we're going to get from the tasting. And uh, again, if you... Uh, are looking for Yagua and want to experience, uh, all you have to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Yagua logo. It'll take you to the J.C. Newman site and sign up your email. So cheers to the Newman family for their release. Cheers to Yagua. All righty. So, Joe, on the way here, yes, if I can share this, I was thinking about how very special this box is. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and this will, uh, you know, I'm not going to steal your thunder. No, uh, steal it. Right? But... The, just the, you, you know, you said concept. Concept to me is unique. It's special, mm -hmm. right? And I, I, f I find this is special because of the, the way they make it, mm -hmm. the history, as you were saying, mm -hmm. behind it, and the uniqueness of the cigars themselves, as you'll be revealing shortly. Mm -hmm. um, so everything about this box and these sticks are, is very, very special. Right. And I, I just, I really took, took note of that this morning driving here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I'm super stoked to, to be opening this box. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's super exciting, uh, there. Uh, as we get going and we do a cotton light and talk about it at t t towards the end, you can give some of the history and 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 we'll and we'll chime in. But um, yeah, uh, as we go, we'll, we'll see. You ready? Rock and roll. You ready? So we have cellophane here. Uh, super excited. Uh, we're very excited about that opportunity. Uh, to 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 do that. Uh, here. So, I'm I'm. Pumped. Just so you know, this was shipped to uh, our G Unit studio uh, a couple days ago, and um, we're, we're trying to uh, figure out when's a good time to smoke it. And I, I was like 30 seconds after it came in, but uh, it didn't work out that way production-wise. So this is probably the longest I've ever sat on a um, cigar box. It's been like 48 hours. <laughs> was it tough? <laughs> true. So true. <laughs> that's that's a very true story uh, there. Um, you know. So. Um, the unveiling of Yagua. There it is. Right? So it comes in this box here. Uh, you know, looks like a, a, a cargo crate uh, there. Don't want to steal your thunder if you want to. You wanna, no, I love the box. Uh, it's, it's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Right? <laughs> you, you, you want you want, you want to touch it? <laughs> it's real wood. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? It's real wood. That is know? a very unique yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. So uh, super cool uh, there. And uh, 
All right. No, no, no spirits come out, so that's good. Oh, so look at that. Again, you got awesome, super awesome presentation. Uh, yeah, I got a note in here. Um, handmade in Nicaragua, Jason Newman, Nicaragua. Awesome. Awesome. You can, you can probably read that as we cut and light and keep that video going there. So, Yagua was a process um, that was used. Um, well, I need to do it this way to take it out. It's pretty crazy. Wow, it's a small solid than I thought. So, this is a process of uh, bundled cigars here. Um, so, inside box, we'll get there. Just, you know, cedar. Cedar line. Well, just cedar on the sides uh, there, like a crate. Awesome. Cool. Let me. And uh, Yagua was um, uh, palm leaf, wrapped in palm leaves Look at that, that they did over in the 1940s. Um, you know, and uh, what, what, what's supposedly unique is when they get pressed, right, um, each shape and size will, will mold to the actual uh, palm leaf there. So pretty, pretty, t it's, it's tightly wrapped for sure. Um, yeah, it is, it is certainly tight, tightly wrapped. Um, yeah, this is pretty wild. Super exciting. Very, it is cool. I'm so pumped. Like, it's pretty tight. All right, so now, and just so you know, uh, there, there are only a thousand boxes uh, that are made uh, here from the uh, offering from uh, J.C. Newman. So, you know. I think it's really cool how the, the leaf is not just marketing. It, it's literally serving a purpose. Yes. In the bundling. Yes. The, um, Drew uh, I, I, uh, Newman wanted to hold on to that history and heritage, again, from 1940s Cuba. Um, this was how you got your cigars, if you wanted them from a bundle. And, and you know, uh, as the bottom, your, your foot, right, uh, sealed and tied there, and your cap. And we'll, go, we'll do, um, you know, show the cap closer and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone, like, when you look at the foot, Nelson, like, everyone is all, and some of them are really squished in and, and uh, super cool uh, there. So that goes back, that's what I was saying, is that, you know, the box itself is unique because of every single one when they wrap them like this, right? And this goes back to, you were saying, the 40s, mm -hmm. after they curated them, they would wrap them in these palm leaves just to bundle them. Mm -hmm. it, it, at that time, it wasn't really for the purpose of creating very unique sticks, but that's what it does. Yep. Um, as each one of these cigars, oh, wow, that's really cool. You can it's really see they're all different shapes in there. Yep. So every cigar you get is is pretty unique, um, and the fact that they just they use what they had back then, after curating, you know, they didn't have extravagant equipment. They just used mm -hmm. these leaves mm -hmm. to wrap these things. That's that's pretty neat that their uh, J.C. Newman is bringing that back. Yep, N initial um, factory size. Each one's going to be slightly different, but the factory size of this stick, uh, obviously because of its uniqueness, it's available in one size. Uh, it's a six by fifty four. Uh, there, so um, you know it's six by fifty-four. Uh, wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Uh, binder and filler is Nicaraguan. Um, this concept was actually um, when Drew Newman was with um, the general manager of the factory down there. Uh, his name is Lorenzo uh, Lopez or Lorenzo Lopez, and. Um, yeah, he talked about wanting to do that. And, you know, um, on Story Geeks, we, we had the opportunity to interview third generation uh, Newman and was talking about Drew. And when he came up with this other first concept cigar, and, you know, and, and, and I, 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 my only comment is we're going to see more from from the, the, the Newmans with, That's with this exciting. stuff. With this stuff, where I think it's so cool. Um, description tightly wrapped in a palm leaf. You can clear visually. You can clearly see how each one is squished in different um, cap. It is it looks cap looks looks really unique as well because it's it it's squishing in there, which you gotta squish it and keep it together. Right. So you talk about construction. Connecticut yes. broadleaf, Nicaraguan binder and filler, um, palm leaf press. So 
like almost like a box press uh, there. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not box pressed, it's leaf pressed. <laughs> right? <clears throat> it's leaf pressed. And it's shipped in a crate. Presentation is, is, is uh, completely amazing. Uh, there. You want the you want to you want to break it open? Just just very unique. Never just break seen one anything and I'll like break this. one. This way it's like. Oh know. okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh, it's like literally tied. Yeah. That's very cool. Cool. That's why I wanted to do that because now when we focus on this there, yeah. so it is tied, right? It is tied. So again, so you got palm leaf and then you got strips of palm leaf. All natural. Wrapped around there. Uh, there you go. Here, I don't know if you see souvenir. Things. Souvenir. Souvenir. All right. Uh, there. So yeah, I wonder if um, I wonder like taste-wise how how it's gonna be as well. I, I mean, so selfishly, I, I'm ex I'm I'm expecting a lot, and I'm selfishly excited to smoke this because I love Nicaraguans. Yep. I love Connecticut broadleaf. Yep. So I'm super stoked for the smoke. Yep. Wow. So as you can see, presentation-wise, the palm leaf. Wow. This is uh. Look at that. You do a whole promo on the promo of the unveiling, right? Uh, you know, palm leaf still, still stays together. Yeah, it's, it's real. <laughs> that's, real not, that's not gimmick, so that's cool. You know? That's, that's very cool. It's a very yeah. cool. Th very, very cool concept for sure. You know? All right. This is the last piece of the puzzle before we get to the cotton light. I'm so excited. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, it's like Christmas morning. But it's like we're saying, right? Every part of this is exciting. It's all super special. It is. It is. And we haven't even cut the cigar yet. I know. Whoop, there we go. That that's now we're <laughs> nice. So I think they come in bundles of twenty, right? Yep. Yep. They come in bundles of twenty. Um I I don't know. You have first? Oh, look at that. Wow. So everyone, let's take a chance to, uh, why don't you describe what, what you're... So that, yeah, it's funny, I'm, ha I'm having these initial reactions. So Just so you know, I grabbed one from the center, so that it'd be a little bit more, less symmetrical. Yeah. Right? So I have a one, two, three, four, five, six-sided, leaf-pressed Yagua. Very nice, very nice wrapping on it. I'm just excited to uh, <laughs> to be smoking this. Yeah. Um, Triple cap. Yep. Triple cap. I have a one, two, three, four and three fourth sided. <laughs> <And> three fourths. <laughs> no, because you can see, you can see. Yeah, the, it starts the, to taper. Can, I mean, you can clearly see on the camera here how it's just it it it, it it's not asymmetrical shape. This is gonna be awesome. Super cool. Um, cotton light. You need a cutter? Oh, we no. got plenty around. I have my J.C. Newman anniversary cutter right here. Nice. <laughs> nice. We actually have Oz in the studio uh, ah. here as well. But, yeah, super cool. Super cool. Um, I'm ready. I'm pff. I'm cutting. Okay. I'm going to take a sip. Hey, free light. All right. We're going we're gonna to get into our uh, thoughts as, as, as we light this up and uh, continue. So, cheers. And cheers to uh, Yagua. Cheers to the future Yagua smokers out there. Yep. So let's take a quick light. So we're about to wrap this up. About four minutes here. All right. Get it going. I do know that... Uh, Initially, I'm getting like a l w real, like, like no BS, cocoa blast, like, bam, yep. right? Initial, and then, which I can't say that. Like, usually it takes me a while to get for 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 my palate to to get cocoa, but I I, I got a little sweet, little cocoa and earth, which, um, you know, as we know, promo video from here. Uh, our full review, there will be two separate rev reviews on uh, stogiegeeks.com, uh, Nelson's thoughts uh, as we smoke through this box uh, and, you know, beginning, middle, end there. Uh, for the purposes of the unveiling, it's all about the unveiling, so we're just going to go a couple more minutes here, but uh, 
Coco Blast right away, which normally Nicaraguan, I don't get that. So I, I definitely, you mentioned the earth. I was getting definitely some earth tones. A um, little oat, getting a little bit of oat. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm really impressed, I love the smoke. There's some great smoke coming off of this. I, mm-hmm. I like the pure white smoke coming out of this. Mm-hmm. Well, the good news is, uh, after the unveiling video stops, you and I get to finish and, and, and talk about our thoughts. Absolutely. And continue uh, there as well. Oh, so we'll twist my arm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Final thought. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. But honestly, uh, Coco off the bat, off the rip for a Nicaraguan cigar. Less common. You don't see that. For me, off the rip. Now, usually after I get through the first inch, I get into some cocoa. Wonder if that's that Connecticut broadleaf kicking in. You know, I'd like to geek out on this stick a little bit more. Um, Stogie Geeks, let me tell you, uh, you got to pounce on this opportunity now. Um, Go to to StogieGeeks.com, click on the Yagua logo. Sign up for JC Newman. Give them your email address. They're going to give you retailers. Uh, it's going to be available in stores over next week, the beginning of next week. They're actually being shipped uh, as we speak. As we speak, yeah. Right? Uh, and just to timestamp this, today is August 6th. Yes, August 6th of 2020. So next week, it's going to go. And um, we're going to get this video right out, share it out. But. Um, Call that local brick and mortar and tell them you want some and give them your card and I'll, I'll get there if you can. Um, it's only going to be available at certain retailers. And just so you know, how many boxes available? 1,000. Mm. Only 1,000 boxes. Very limited. Uh, final thoughts on this. You know, th- we didn't talk about the draw, but I think this has a really nice draw. It's not super tight, but it's not super loose. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's almost, for me, it's a perfect draw. And again, I, I love Nicaraguan cigars, so this... I just think this is fantastic. It tastes fantastic. Mm-hmm. Good earthy notes, as you said. Yep. And keep in mind, we're, we're only like within the first uh, section of the cigar. Uh, full review will be released in at least a week. Uh, don't wait on it. This is a novelty chance for you to go out there and uh, to, to capture it. But I will have uh, notes. Um, dying to see how it finishes. We're going to know. But unfortunately, for the sake of this video, you are not going to stay know, tuned. So, so Nelson, uh, thank you for uh, joining us thank here. Thank you for inviting uh, me for the Yagua unveiling. Uh, I want to wish much success to the Newman family. Drew, uh, I was really super excited with 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 the American stick, the American concept, the Americana. But uh, this here, just presentation, like nothing like it. A, a scale of one to ten, it, it's a ten. Presentation is 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 phenomenal. Um, initial thoughts on the stick, like I said, super cocoa blast. Get some earthy ness. Uh, also, uh, I just one quick characteristic. Just from I'm a, I'm a twirler, right? It is what it is. Oh, I do the same. Right? A twirler. This lets you know that you you are truly smoking something unique. Right. Like you know. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah, yeah. So um, thank you for the unveiling of Yagua. Nelson and I are going to continue. Uh, If you want initial notes right away, uh, like before a week, if you can't wait, Joe H at stogiegeeks.com. And I want to wish the Newman family much success. Thank you for the opportunity for Stogie Geeks to do this. Stogie Geeks, go to stogiegeeks.com, click on that Yagua, find the retailer near you, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Be safe.